Leos! Subscribe! Hello. Got a new Warhammer Fantasy Banshee here. I'm gonna unbox her. And show you the different parts on the sprue. And then build it up and show you the painted version. So let's take a look at the sprue, shall we? Here we've got what looks like the right hand. It's got the dagger in it. Yeah, it looks like it's got to be the right hand. Maybe the back part. There's her head with part of her hair. The main part of her body. More hair. And scenic base. Games workshop. Putting skulls everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna build this up. Show you what it looks like when I get back. So here's the built up model. It's interesting, you can't really see that she's holding the dagger with all the hair, but that's why I kind of looked at it in the box art in the first part of the clip, but interesting. I like how she's floating off the ground. I'm gonna have to cover that seam up with some green stuff. It wasn't a perfect join right in the back of her <clears throat> skirt there. But the fact that there are multiple layers, you can see the bottom layer from the top. I think it's really interesting. Her corset is really interesting too. It's very Victorian, Gothic, horror. Yeah. So this is going to be a fun model to paint up, like the Great Taurus and the Karen Wraith. I'm going to also be doing a simultaneous how to paint vid, so check that out. Uh, yeah. One thing I noticed when I was putting the thing together, the hair, um, <laughs> because let's take a look at the instructions. Body attaches there, then the second thing that goes on is the head, and the head's got hair, the body's got hair, uh, number three, but then she's got this huge bald spot there, and number five is supposed to fit right on it nicely, and I couldn't for the life of me figure it out for a very long time. Get the white out of the way. <clears throat> so the join isn't sitting very nicely on top of her head because all the other pieces fit very well except for the hair piece I felt. There was a lot of room to wiggle around, so yeah, hopefully that'll be okay. Alright, but there's great detail. I love the rotted through look of the robes. I love the angle in which she's floating off the ground, attached to the rock that's attached to the base. And I love the reaching hand. Oh, it's really cool. So stay tuned, and I'll see you at the end when this is done. Alright, here's the finished product. As you can see, I went for the ethereal kind of look of this banshee. The base I added, the skull was already molded on because it's GW and GW loves skulls, but I did add on a little bit of scorched grass. I painted it a very stark gray, a lot of black underneath dark colors to represent the, um, you know, the sick and unhealthy land that the undead spring from. So I'm really pleased with her. Let's take a look at her face a little bit. I decided not to paint in her eyes. I might change my mind later and go with a bright sickly green or something, but for now I kind of find it creepier that her eyes are just white. <clears throat> So like I said, I'm going to post up a tutorial, a Warboss tutorial on how to do this. Hope you guys like this video from Box to Battle on 
my painting up the new tomb banshee for the vampire counts and we'll see you in the next one